Well, it is that time of the year again as 2020 winds down. I know many of you are really ready for this year to be over and I guess in some ways I am too simply because I always look forward to doing what I can for the next year and that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to start talking to you about what my goals are for 2021 and uh, <laughs> I just it just registered that I had written it down on my wrong on my notes here. I put 2020 so We'll forget that but yeah 2021 what do i want to accomplish this year i've got a big old list <laughs> this list is not in any particular order but the first thing on my list is to expand my duck and chicken flock these red this large red hen there's three of them there these guys are several years old and they just hardly ever lay an egg and i've got one little hen there and i've got another little hen here and i think they're called leghorns leghorns i don't know and uh, they did, so I'm down to two of those and they just lay little white eggs and that's not what I or nor my customers are interested in is little bitty white eggs. I do have, I believe, four ducks and one drake. My Pekin is a drake and I'm pretty sure the others are, are a female or females. There's one of them is like, yeah, he do, she, it doesn't squawk or, uh, you know, growl whatever you call that wah, wah, wah thing you know so i can't tell i think it's a female still but uh, but i like the pecan ducks they lay great big beautiful eggs and uh, and i'm i'm going to when i expand them i'm going to let them be male or female because any extra females are going to turn into dinner for me um so this is all i have that are adults these are the chicks that I bought and they're growing nicely and they're roosting and everything and I just really like them and uh, so I've got 15 of these all 15 have survived and so that's going to expand my flock for this next year too but I still want to have more chicks and I'll get more chicks this next spring I'm just glad to have these for a start and and uh, so I can have my uh, expand my egg production and expand my uh, duck production too now that I have this built, and uh, I'd like, maybe we might build at least one more pretty soon, I'm not certain, but I do have this built, and I can keep it busy all summer long. I can do uh, as many meat birds as I want, I mean, you know, like 25 at a time, I can put the meat birds in here, and I'd like to be able to have some customers and sell some meat birds too. Um, the uh, turkey thing turned out exceptionally well. So I think I'd like to even do a batch of turkeys maybe in midsummer so that I can have that for my own uh, production uh, consumption, you know, because I'm doing the turkey meat and chicken meat and stuff like that now. Uh, and do it, then do a later one like I did this year so that I can have turkeys to give and to sell to customers, you know, in October and November. So I think I can keep that busy through the summer and if I keep it busy enough, maybe I can build another one of those and, and uh, have more i don't know but that's what i'd like to do. i'd like to start uh having production enough where i could start servicing customers with both chickens and turkeys probably not ducks yet i think the male ducks that i was discussing or previously i think that's going to be more for my my consumption also at this time this is a fence and this is the energizer that i bought this last this previous year this spring for pigs I have a lot of pasture out here that my pigs can be turning into good pasture, you know. I'm going to let them till it up. I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to try to set it up where they can till up my garden if probably every fall or something like that so that they can uh, uh, work my garden for me and, and fertilize it and get it going good so maybe they can get rid of some of my, my big Johnson grass roots and stuff like that. So that would be cool. But other than that, I've got up to 40 acres right here that I can put to work with pigs. And right now... I think I'm leaning toward just doing feeder pigs. And I think if I can, when I'm believing at this time, this is early in the game, I'm believing at this time I'd like to start getting to Idaho pasture pigs. And if I do, I will probably um, breed them and raise them and sell them. Right now they are a, a pig that people are wanting. And I have to admit, I want them too. So 
that's what I'm seriously considering for this next year and probably going to do is do the, the Idaho pasture pigs, if at all possible. If not, right now, if nothing else, I will get some little feeder pigs from somewhere around here locally and, and learn how to raise pigs before I take on the task of breeding them. But uh, when we will do some pork here at that time, and then I'm like, I think I've got a few customers that will buy some, you know, at least half a hog or something like that at the, you know, for... Uh, for customers also so that's something else I'd like to get done for 2021 and another thing I'd like to do is finish remodeling the the trailer house so that uh, we can I'm planning on getting it move, moving into it before we get it all remodeled and that's fine too uh, like the, getting the propane set up will be a huge step toward getting us into the trailer house and uh, uh, there's a couple other things I'd like to do before I actually move in but that is the biggest step toward getting us in there at this time and I've shown you that room, uh, and I will, I will show it to you after a bit. Uh, right now, the, the television is going over there. Um, so in that spare bedroom that I've been working on, we just painted the floor on here a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to do another coat of paint on that. But I need some shelves. I've told you I want some shelves on that one wall. Well, I got to thinking, you know, all this, this uh, wood is just expensive, and I need something that's sturdy and, and strong because I'm going to be putting a lot of canned goods and stuff on the shelving unit. And I remembered... I have some of that wood. Let me show you. You see all that wood lined up against that wall there? That is all walnut that we had milled, golly, several years ago. So you know it's dry. And we have more up here. There's a stack up in this rafter, and there's another stack there. And if you look at them, they're pretty good, good thickness and good width, some of them. And I think that I can get enough of the proper width to make myself a nice set of shelves for my canning goods. And they will take up this whole wall in this room. And if you think about it, I've got plenty of wall space here. I can have some nice wide shelves. I was wearing, I was trying to remember how wide that was. So that'll work. I can make them just about as wide as I want. That's exciting. Once I get this room done, I'm like getting a new light fixture there, get those shelves up, and see what else I get. That's probably will be all I do at this time, unless I change my mind, but that's what the plan is for right now. Then I'll come out here, and this all needs to be painted, but the walls themselves are in bad condition. You can see it's all bowed out and stuff, so I'm wondering if I should just like demo this. And get new sheetrock and start over. Because look around her door here. I don't know. I don't know how important it is. Might be that important. Might have to start getting some sheetrock and get that replaced. And then the flooring. This is definitely coming up, and it's probably gonna be the flooring like what's in a room that's like that. Uh, uh, it looks like wood, but it's not. So we'll get that, and maybe at that same time we'll just go ahead and suck it up and pull this toilet and. Put the flooring that we want in here we'll have to see and then as i've shown some of these holes were already here and of course the weird things like that but this may have to be all resheet rock too i think that stupid squirrel rat did that and so and definitely a different color this one's not as bad as that ugly blue that's in the hallway but we got a better color this wainscoting is not bad looking i mean i may keep it we'll have to see but yeah you can see where i need to do more work in the walls and so of course and then somebody and kayla gave me some curtains but i haven't gotten them put up yet definitely want to do something with that back wall probably put something like tile or something back there there's not much more that i can do here i mean there's a dishwasher that needs to go there i do not like these shelves they're kind of, they they are in the way. I mean, they're just, I don't know. It's already sagging in the middle, so you can't really put anything of weight up there. But I'll figure it out. This is being used as a storage room for right now, but this is where the washer and dryer are supposed to go. And I definitely want to get them in here where it's <laughs> out of the barn and uh, get that that it's, I'm kind of trying to show you in order what I want to get done with this house one thing that definitely needs to be happen is a whole outside layer of this door is coming off and you can see air or light coming in through there 
So I need to do some work here too. I wonder what that was to. Huh. I don't know. And apparently there's no cover for this door. Of course, it might have been in that storage room. Tom doesn't think this works. I've heard it working when I turned the thing. The it's, This is the furnace. And I've heard uh, work when it, you turn the breaker on. But the people who own this house or lived in this house before did not use it. So maybe it doesn't work. I don't know. And this is a master bedroom. This will be the last area that I want to get worked on in here. Because I just don't care that much. This will definitely be Tom's closet. That's where the water heater is. It's got some decent sized. I mean, there's something there, you know, high, holes all the way around. So he can put his junk in here. That's fine with me. He can have it. Um, definitely have to do some redoing on other stuff in here. My project is that I want done is to rip this out and make that my closet. Won't that be a nice size? I would love that. I don't need a garden tub. Don't want a garden tub. If I need a tub, I've got one on the other end of the house in Kinsey's bathroom. She doesn't like that idea, but it's not her choice. <laughs> but that will make a perfect place for a closet. And last but not least is the kit, the bathroom area. This all, oh, and that rodent thing, you can see where it got in right there. Yep. And this is apparently the, this all needs to be covered and stuff. And look at the hole in the wall there. And here's my shower here. So this is all ugly, needs work. Apparently we need to replace the sub flooring because they, because this leaked for so bad for so long they just put a piece of plywood on top of it. It's still not real sturdy. So that all needs to be done. So little by little, inside the house, that's plenty to do for sure. It's very windy today, but I'll try to get this recorded. Obviously we need to put skirting on. Uh, you can see the pink and stuff there. That's where all the insulation up underneath the house is falling off. So. I've got some insulation here that's boarded. We're going to have to get some foam insulation to uh, do around the pipes and stuff. So we definitely need to get that done too. Should have done it before the winter got here, but we did not. So that's definitely one of the things I want to get done this year also. This is the new brooder that I'd like to get put together before spring, if at all possible. But we had, if you remember, we had it all stacked up nicely. But these guys look for rodents and <laughs> they've just completely torn it apart. So I did want, definitely want to get the brooder put together and get that uh, fencing that's out in the field. Oh, now you can kind of see it. We've got enough, enough of the weeds that's come down where maybe you can see it there. Put that in place and get it more secure and uh, make that for my brooder area. And of course, put this together that, yes, the dogs have torn this one up too, uh, from a mower and the fuel. This year, I definitely wanted to expand my garden area past those things there. We've got my little narrow uh, garden that I always try to put in each spring, early spring for early spring things. And then we've got the birds out here. I come out here and they, I've got them all checking out. And last year, I only got just a small garden done for a variety of reasons, but I'd like to, and I'm sorry about the wind, get this and it include this part too. get these get the mobile egg unit out and do a lot more guarding out here too all right i came around the other side of the building try to get out of the wind i'd also let me see if i can zoom in on that around the porch there i think i would like to make raised beds for herbs and eventually when i get a back port built off of that back wall thing i'd like to uh, move some herbs back there actually because that would be more convenient for me either one I don't care so I'd like to get some herbs started I don't know if I can get that done this year or not I'll try but obviously my list for this year is getting long all right I'll come inside out of the wind but with the bad lighting and <laughs> bad hair and everything like that but at least I can get to the next step when was my next one okay my next goal for the year 2021 is to get better at preserving food. I had a tendency to bring the food in. It's like, eh, it's not really enough to mess with right now. And uh, we'd, have, we'd have plenty for fresh. But it was kind of like a threshold between enough for fresh and not quite enough to process and stuff. And I'm, of course, I'm learning to ferment and everything. And hopefully with the expansion of the garden, I'll just like buckle down and do my fermenting, do my canning, do my freezing, and get it done, you know, just get it done. So that's one of my goals is to be better at um, 
putting up the food that I grow this year. Um, also, I'm wanting to work on improving my content for, for the YouTube channel. I believe that was kind of one of my goals for last year, too. And I am getting better. I'm trying. I'm finally being able to focus on what it is I'm wanting to do. Well, first, for a long time, when I, wanted, when I first started this channel a few years ago, I just needed something to show that we were moving forward. We were going backward and backward and backward, and I was so discouraged. So I thought, I'm going to have to do the work. It's just me. It's going to be forever. But if I have a video record I can if I get discouraged I can go back and say okay yeah you got this done so that was the whole reason for the channel in the first place but that wasn't doing anything for you guys so now uh, as I'm working on creating content I want to uh, show that regardless of how old you are and what's going on in your life COVID or whatever else you know bad health or messed up eyes <laughs> You can get up and do what you need to do because you know what you're not dead yet So that's kind of what I want to do with my uh, YouTube channel and I'm expanding into other areas because I definitely have I definitely have some Opinions about what's going on right now like with the mask and the vaccinations and stuff like that well YouTube is not a good place to for me to do that. So I'm working on getting stuff toward uh, the channel Odyssey O-D-Y-S-E-E -E. And that's that's causing a whole new mess of like I've got to learn how to make them to five or less bit rate and then I upload and I thought I got it good but now apparently I've got to change it back to MP4 at the uh, smaller rate I don't know what I'm doing I'm getting there I will get there I am persistent if nothing else so that's what my deal is too so I've got specifically two different channels and i'm thinking about changing the name of ellis family farms to grandma's homestead on youtube i may change i may keep it at ellis family farms i'm not certain because that's what it's been for a long time when i go to odyssey it's probably going to be pretty much the same videos but i'll call them grandma's homestead on odyssey and then my new channel that with my opinion and facts to back up my opinion not just like oh i'm not just gonna be blowing you know my opinion i'm gonna be providing uh resources to back up my opinion and that one that channel is called i'm just saying so when i figured out how to get all that technical stuff worked out any day now i'm gonna have have some of those videos i'm thinking about after we get into the trailer house i mean all the stuff that i showed you in the trailer house once i get the propane in basically we ought to be able to move in and I'll just remodel with the rest of it as I go. So that's going to leave this trailer open. And I want to do some, I'd like to do some major remodeling, but you know, I'm thinking about doing a hip camp. We've got, when I keep, if, if I can keep this, get this place cleaned up, I've got to get this place cleaned up. I and mean, if I can keep the vineyard in pretty good condition, we've got a beautiful view from this, this camper. And even though it's not plumbed, you know, the barn's right there. I've got that bathroom that if I do hip camp, they can go to that bathroom. And if they don't want to make it overnight, I'm probably going to do a, a composting toilet for in here. And then uh, uh, then they have access to, access to a shower and a real uh, toilet in there. So I'm thinking about doing this for a hip camp, and there's a, I have a couple of other ideas for hip camp and to help maybe bring some revenue in too, and get where I can overlook the uh, area. And I'm going to go on down the road, not this year, beautify this place. I really want to. <laughs> you know, there's just so much is pretty here, and I'd like to get get it that way all over. Yeah, and cleaning up the property. That's one. That's one of the things that's on my list too. Like I said, they weren't necessarily in order. Uh, I want to I want to do a better job of taking care of the vineyard. We have good years and bad years with the vineyard. What kind of is discouraging immediately each year in our area? Got the place got them pruned, got them looking good, or in the process of it. And every spring we have beautiful little tiny clusters of grapes, you know, gads of them all over the place. And then we have a period where we get like six inches of rain in two days, and then all of a sudden. Uh, it stops raining and it gets hot. I mean like literally immediately and these little bitty beautiful grapes just turn into little black beads on these things. And so I'd like to do a better job at taking care of the vineyard and eventually I'd like to do like trellises over it where like when you can walk walk down a row the grapes would be over you. That'd be kind of cool. That's not a this year thing though. But I'd, this year thing is taking better care of the vineyard. <sighs> I'd like to get the tractor repaired. I'd like to get the mower, the riding mower repaired. 
wouldn't it be nice to have enough the right equipment to do my work around here and i don't know what that's going to tell i don't think either one well okay the 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 riding more it, it we he blew the motor in it or the engine whatever you call it and he bought a new one but there are some differences between the old one and the new one he couldn't figure out what to do it so this thing's been sitting for nearly three years now or more so i'd like to get that done surely it wouldn't be too much to do that the tractor and he's like an ignition switch it needs a gear shifter you know uh need to do some welding on the front end loader and so we can put it back on because it was cracked in a few places apparently so i just like to have the tractor i mean we've got a tractor we've got a mower we've got a little side by side it's been sitting for years because a 200 hundred dollar part broke on it so also and this is completely different this is not necessarily farm related at the same time it might be i'm going to try to work around my schedule with my birds and stuff so we can go on vacation in june we have reservations to go to a little beach house down by corpus christi with my son and daughter-in-law and kenzie and her brother joseph and of course tom and we want to spend it's only like two or three days we're going to spend down there and uh so and we've already got possibly somebody lined up to take care of the that's the reason i want to take uh, be careful of my birds i don't want to have meat birds that these people got to take care of in the process of that i just want them to come and take care of my dogs and my chickens essentially uh my layers and uh then when i get back so i think i might be able to do a batch of meat birds before and then do another batch afterward or something too but i'd like to go on vacation it's only like i said three four days i think it was like a day to, we were going to drive down and then hopefully get to see san antonio uh the river walk took the kids to see that and then the next day do the alamo and then go on to corpus christi to do uh that little beach house for a few days there i think it was like i think it's three nights at the beach house so and then of course drive hard to come back so that's what i want to do too my last goal for 2021 there are a lot of things changing there are a lot of things happening regardless of what regardless of how we feel about it regardless of what's going on in the world my biggest goal for 2021 is to be flexible and be able to pivot in these changing times if i'm going to have to homeschool school kenzie okay that's what we'll do thank god she's old enough to do a lot of that her own i may have to put her into uh competitive sports because every time they have to close kenzie's not been in school and they try hard but Kenzie's not been in school since before Thanksgiving and they're hoping to go back then at the after the first of the year but COVID is in our area now there's a lot of people in this area that has has the virus and it's it's kind of a sad situation and but you know uh you know they're talking about the great reset i don't know how what that means what that entails i do know that supplies in stores are weird you can go and go in one section and there's nothing on that shelf but there's plenty of other things too it's just so so the supply chain is is really weird right now and uh, so i want to uh i need to be able to pivot i want to have enough food here i want to be able to take provide for my own food and i want to be able to uh learn to do better with my youtube channel i need to start bringing in income you know tom could lose his job something could happen something's always happening so that's my biggest goal is being able to pivot in these changing times so those are my goals for 2021 let me know what yours are i'd love to hear because like i said it's time to get it going